I am making friends with the mooch in case Trump tries to send me to Gitmo. No, That's what I want to know. I'm, I'm, I got a I'm power bring on you the some Mexico I, when you oh, get the Gitmo. No, let me tell you. It looked uh, like a hemorrhoid uh, surprise. Okay. Anthony, if you could redo one thing while you were at the White House, what would it be? Um, that's a good question. Probably the Ryan Lizza call, I probably wouldn't have had that one. Right. <laughs> but you, in 10 days, you actually... 11. 11. <laughs> <laughs> 9,000 seconds. Feeling. Sorry. Why Jimmy I did 9.1% yeah, of my federal right. career. But, it wasn't as long as Trump's But it's career, not how long you're there, it's, it's, it's how much you accomplish. You know, you I, can't I, get I, it. Hey, let I me mean, tell you something. Did, did, did we knock out a lot of the leakers and a lot of the unnecessary internecine warfare? We definitely did that. Know, in the, American, the two biggest leakers got knocked out with me. In the American Revolution, George Washington only fought nine battles and he only won three of them. Well, Deal with that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> three uh, Richard Haas, what will gl U.S. global leadership look like post-Trump? Oh, if there is ever such a thing. It's actually a good question. Uh, the issue of uh, whether Trump's an aberration or whether he's a trend and to what extent right. Trumpism mm. uh, is there. And I actually, I worry about that a little bit. I mean, he's yeah, an extreme feature person. or a glitch. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And what comes next. And the, also, whoever comes next, they're not going to inherit the world that he inherited. It's going to be a world that's been degraded. It's going to be a tough job when you come after him. And the country, it's not clear to me, is ready to play the sort of role that we historically have. Okay. Uh, we're we're yeah. allowed time for rebuttal? Yes, no? of course. Rebut. Oh, I mean, I, again, I see it differently. I think that the, the world, uh, the economic engine of the United States, I mean, we have a real shot now to double the economy in 18 years. We can clip away at 3% growth. It'll eliminate a lot of the entitlement issues that we have. Uh, I think we're going to bolster Eliminate the Eliminate entitlement issues, meaning... Yeah, well, you have a $17 trillion so economy much money now. That yeah, when you get it to $34 trillion, it'll, it'll, it'll take... $34? Yeah, you'll... You're going to double our... In 18 years, if you grow at 3%, I oh, can, I see. I can teach you the math. Years. Well, yeah. no, I, I... I mean, you, you're going to double the <laughs> I went the to economy. Cornell, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's Ivy League. For you and I... We used to play each other in football. I don't see, I don't see a calculator out here, but... We were about the rebuttal. Y yes, please. Well, let me just finish. Uh, no, that's called, the, it's called a debate the nation, show. The we, nation, why we ask the that? nation will be stronger. Um, and okay, uh, 18 I also think years, that who the fuck knows what's going to be going on in 18 years? Here. That's such a ridiculous... You'll be here telling these jokes. I think, I, I think what, what today... <laughs> sure I hope so. Yeah, I'll, be, show, I'll be 80, yeah. but I hope yeah. I will be. We're going to have a lot more beachfront property on that hairline. Well, well, but What we're going to see... What we're going to see... There'll be beachfront property in Nebraska because of his environmental policy. That's where the beachfront property will be. I give you that one. All right. You'll give me that. that. We have a problem. <laughs> yeah, he's destroying the we earth. Have a but we have a problem. The economy's with the good. It's not just him, though. Okay, it's, Richard. It's the whole, what is your, you don't think it's China? Rates, interest rates are going up in part because the tax cut was deeper than it needed to be. In part because the economy was already growing. Okay, the debt is going to skyrocket, which is going to force rates up. We're already seeing wage, wages going up, causing again the Fed to raise rates. What this is going to do is slow the the economy. And what this is going to do, I think is ultimately create a crisis. You know, we're about climate change, the other big crisis, our debt. We're gonna have to yeah, raise the right. rates significantly to fund our debt. The There's no way we are gonna grow out of this. We have $13 trillion of it. No, yeah, but that was a big difference. And prosecuted two unnecessary wars. Big difference when you're coming out of a crisis like 2007, 8. It, it, right now, we're creating the crisis. It is amazing you're, when, you're, when you guys you're, are You're not that. acknowledging yeah. the fact yeah. that there's been 13. Not acknowledging that there's a bipartisan indictment on the table. There's a $13 trillion of debt was added over the last nine years. Okay. And you just That's added another... I mean, when you guys are out of power, we cannot spend a nickel. As soon as you get into power, it's like, okay. just write the checks. Richard, I, I don't get Richard that. I knows don't... that the pay-as-you-go legislation that he put in place in the George Bush one administration... He put it Blame uh, it on well, you. Well, Blame I know it. I had that kind well, of... OK, well, uh, Darman did it. Darman well, came up with the pay-as-you-go legislation. This, this is a helpful started point to write, of mine's Started to right-side the budget. We shouldn't be talking about this as if there's you guys, as if there's two parties here. Uh, right. the, the Republican Party is a broken party. Um, and there are people who have served the Republican Party that was, and there are people who are volunteering to serve the Republican Party that will be. Um, but to, to, it is not. It is not. It is not. To, it is not to say that, when, as Anthony said, when he denigrated the, the past Republican pre presidents, it is important to understand that something new is taking the place of the Republican Party that yes. Richard knew and I knew. There are, there are two. New, there are definitely it, two. Indicting both sides. I'm not denigrating the past Republican presidents. You you racked up $20 trillion of debt on the American people. You think the swamp is a really good business model for the American people? I, I think... 17 years of war. How is that 50, swamp? 50,000 gallons. How's that swamp? I don't think it's trainable. 
You know, I, I think when, it's a gold-plated hot tub, bro. When, when Trump people it's say it's a swamp, so it they mean so the rule of law. So when he says, I'm going to drain right. the swamp, it was an well, lie. They, no, I don't think it was a lie. I think it was an ambition. He I think when he's gotten down there. You have there. to agree no. that. He's a liar. You have to no. agree. Raise your, raise, your, raise your hand in the room. <laughs> but like, raise your hand in the room if you've never told a lie. No, but... Raise your hand in the room. But like, not like six a day when you're president. I mean, Raise your hand in the room But wait, wait. you've never told a lie. Okay, but that's not... Come on, that's not an answer. You know that's not an answer. And you, so, but again, it's just not New you York. You don't like the fact this that he's not, a he's not non-presidential a president. He's that's how I won the election. He's not going to solve but, but, but the problem tonight. just take tonight. it as normal that he's he going to lie, so lie, 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 lie. Like I'm as not. soon as the State of the Union was over, okay. he said, it's okay. the greatest the ratings ever. Right. The other and presidents it, didn't lie. The other politicians didn't lie. Not like that. Not like that. Not like that. You're living in a normative world. What you accept says who you are. What you accept says who you are. And and it's like... And I think one of the, one of the peculiar well, and unexpected gifts of Donald Trump is that he has taught a lot of people to understand both the preciousness of truth and also the need to defend institutions like the FBI and the CIA. Maybe they wouldn't have gotten the big applause that they got tonight in this room. Um, I, I think probably three years ago or four years ago, if you told the people in this room that Edward Snowden and Julian Assange were not heroes, they might think differently. I think now we all understand better. Um, we understand right. who they were working for, what they were working to accomplish, well, and we see it in front of us now. I, I wouldn't lump them together quite that way. No. Julian Assange is a little different than the other guy. And Julian Assange somehow did get uh, a little too in with Russia. Uh, and very close to the Trump campaign. I'm not sure that... Your Snowden anger towards just... Trump is clouding your judgment, by I, the way. But a, a good anger management is, class would help you think a little more. That, that is such a Michael Corleone line. <laughs> but it is. You're, you're, it is. It's Godfather <laughs> Three. Your anger is... Don't let your anger <laughs> cloud your judgment. Your judgment. No, and, really. This, well, I, you, I still believe no one is above the law, and that includes and, the and president. And don't let your anger cl cloud your judgment, but don't let your ambitions also cloud your judgment. Um, <laughs> well... What does that even mean, though? Right. You're talking about my ambition? What are you talking about? I've already, do, do, do already not, lived a great life. What are you talking about? Do, do I went not, in there to try to serve the country and help the middle and lower middle class people that are struggling in this country. It was you got to wake up, brother. It was Donald you're, Trump. You're living in, like, an ivory tower. you got to snap Donald out Trump. of it. It was Donald Trump. It was Donald Trump. out of it, man. You only have to read the, the New York Post. You should get some of the Mexico thing as a suppository <laughs> and you drop the angle. Only... That's what you should do. You could climb the... Okay. You, you're like Mexico? a mean, you're like yeah, a mean I, guy. A mean guy. Well, uh, okay. I'm not a weak guy. No, but you're mean. And you're angry. <laughs> I... I, I, you I, are. It's so Canadian to be you that are. way. Uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> let me move on. Donna Brazil, aside from we're not Trump, the Democrats have been completely unable to craft a simple, clear, appealing message to voters. What is it going to take for Democrats to wake up to this? We want an economy that works for everyone, period. I mean, we're, we're, we, don't, we, don't, we want an economy that works for every American, especially those Americans who are still struggling. And by okay. the way, it is Black History Month, yes. Black Unemployment went up a little bit. I want to just say to, something to the president. If you get, get him on the phone tomorrow, stop, leave us alone. <laughs> it was, it was, under you... President Obama, it started going down, it kept going down, it kept going down, it ticked back up, so just leave us alone. The end of my show last week was all about how he picks fights with black people. And yeah, leave us alone. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Do you think he picks fights leave... with black people? And then on cue, he did it with Jay-Z. But yes. I had a list this long from Colin Kaepernick and Obama and on down. Yeah. He does seem to, the war widow, he seems Lee. to purposely get a fight with black people. Does he get, any, does he get any credit for Just one month. sitting with the Rainbow Coalition 25 years ago and getting the... Well, he doesn't, I, I, I don't... You have to refresh the, my memory. The, what, the, 25 years he, ago, what did he do? Yeah, he was part of Jesse Jackson's Rainbow Remember Coalition. Remember Janet Jackson? What have you done for us lately? No, 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 no. But he was answer, also the guy who... The answer from this see, audience I, 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 is no, but not except the Reverend, the Reverend Jesse. Well, look, he wanted the auditorium. But, he, but he look, wanted this the, is uh, not about... He wanted the penalty for the Central Park Five, even the though society. they were innocent. I mean, but does he get credit for discriminating against blacks who wanted to, you know, get an apartment in the Trump Hill? Oh, come on. Come on. I don't remember that. I remember the Central Park Five. I remember the Central Park Five when he went after them, even after they were innocent. And Hey, Donna, we know each other a long time. I'm a very balanced guy. Our country. I'm this not here about to our country. You are. I'm not, I'll call I'm not balls here. and you, strikes as I see him. Ask me the question. I'll I want to know what drug you're on, because you you are you are. I'm on the Michael Corleone drug. Uh, Michael, yeah. He is very Michael Corleone. Yeah. He doesn't raise yeah. his voice. He's a quiet killer. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit too honest, though. I'm not right. like the typical backstabbing 
Washingtonian. Well, I'm right. like Tina Turner. Turner. I'm oh. a private dancer, baby, but I don't dance for that kind of money. Okay, I'm so sorry. Well, there's, a, there's an after party, Don. I'm going to try yeah. to get you to dance. I'm not, not going to go there. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, there's an after party. Right. By the way... Time for me to suck my own cock. Thank you oh. very much, everybody. Have a good night. I don't think you can do it.